Welcome back to Jersey Matters. It's usually easy to get kids to go to a camp that emphasizes sports where they can run around and have fun, but getting them to read and write over the summer, that can be a problem. Now there's a solution. Our Kimberly Kravitz takes us to a camp that combines both. Most kids enjoy summer camp during their break from school, and this New Jersey initiative has given summer camp a brand new meaning, one that teaches our youth how to read and write. The key, you ask, is to get them writing about sports. Well, and it's so logical and it's so simple, but it's unique and it really does uh, work. Write on Sports is a two-week camp with the goal of enhancing the reading and writing skills of its participants. The trick is to give the kids something to be excited to write about. I notice a lot of kids in schools, they tend to just not enjoy writing because what they're writing about is not something that they enjoy. But in this camp, they finally get the opportunity to pick a topic that they enjoy. One, we make it fun with the guest athletes and sports writers who come to camp. And then secondly, we attract them by going to their schools, let it write on sports. We urge them, it's part of their critical thinking growth, we urge them to choose the topic. And the only rule is it needs to have a sports angle. The National Assessment of Adult Literacy says that 30 million adults, which is 14 percent of the nation's population, lacks basic literacy skills. And this is why Write on Sports is so important to our youth. The tough part, they say, is recruiting the students. We recruit. We work hard at recruiting because it's not easy to get kids to come in the middle of the summer to sit down in a serious writing journalism program and participate. But once the students join the camp, they get the opportunity to meet with guest athletes and journalists, such as Jack Ford, who comes out each summer to engage with the kids. So I'll talk with them first, and then we'll simulate an interview. And I'll periodically stop and I'll say, okay, here's why I did this. And here's another way you might go with this type of interview. Now, this is the third year that I've been here, and I've been fascinated each year. You know, they're, they're young kids, and sometimes you don't realize as we get older how much younger they are. But they are so plugged into this, and they have their notepads, and they're writing down what you're saying. The fact that they're using sports as a hook to get kids interested in learning about reading and writing, it's pretty genius. It's genius, but I think in today's world of social media and instant news feeds and news clips and headlines, it's actually a really good way to do it. First time campers such as Kaylee and Haley are over the moon excited. I have lots of friends here and it's helping me more and giving me better writing skills and stuff. What's your dream job? To be a pediatric pulmonologist because I have severe asthma and I want to help kids that have asthma too. How like it's like any other summer camp? No, this one's special. This one you get to be on campus and you get to meet new people. What do you want to do when you get older? I want to be a vet and help people. I mean, like help animals. So this is something you've always wanted to do but you think this is going to help secure your future? Yes. The students have their notepads out and are paying close attention to their guest speakers because next up they reverse roles and they are the ones conducting the interview. And then when we're finished, they get to do some interviews. So they'll talk with me, they'll talk with the guests that I'm going to interview. So is there any advice you can give me as about both their class members? Okay. Um, it's today's world, you know, what did you ask Jack Ford? Like, what was his favorite celebrity and why? <laughs> he said it was Robert Williams. The Write on Sports camp has grown tremendously since its first year back in 2006. We, this year we had 10 two-week summer camps in three states, in Rhode Island, Indiana, and our focus is on New Jersey. And now in our pipeline, even for next year and the year after that, we've got five or six camp possibilities already. The camp, which lasts for 10 days long, provides the kids with skills that will last a lifetime. I think that the thing that's most enjoyable is they have great curiosity. And as you know, as somebody who's a journalist, that your, your basic tool is curiosity. And to see young people at this age embracing that notion of journalistic curiosity is just a, a wonderful reaction. I get goosebumps when I go to a camp and watch the kids stand up and say, my name is Byron Yake, I'm from Right on Sports. That itself builds self-confidence. It has to do with uh, just learning how to think critically about what a good question is. 
And the great news is you can help by donating your time, volunteering, or making a contribution. You can log on to writeonsports.org for more information. At Monmouth University, I'm Kimberly Kravitz, reporting for Jersey Matters.